all are probably familiar with my reliable standby, the collapsible blue kettle. It has been pretty great, but it does only one thing, and that is boil water. I suppose I could cook food in it, but there's only one heat setting, and it would be pretty difficult to clean. Imagine my delight when Stoke Voltaic sent me their jewel kettle to try out. Supposedly it's wicked fast and it has a few different settings. If I have the time, I like to try out new gear at home before camping. So I devised a quick test. Of course, me being me, it couldn't be something simple like boiling water. drop down after about three minutes. So now it's in a simmer mode. Smells good. All right, uh, five minutes. Let's have a look. I dropped it down just 4%. Definitely hot. Oh yeah, those look done. I think my steamer basket just fell apart. Pretty good. Man, I just lucked out on the water quantity. I just guessed. Sir, you had breakfast. You don't even like oats. Before this, I was going to use my new um, stove, my new butane stove from Timu, but I have been gifted a new kettle. So this seems like just the occasion for it. Of course, I've used my little collapsible kettle from as soon as I had a power bank. But this one does all sorts of things other than boil water. Drink, eat, and pop. So drink, the way I understand it, drink is just a rapid rapid boil. Eat is a spike in heat, like a quick boil, and then a simmer. And then pop is just like quick super duper heat. I, I haven't used any, I used the eat one one time to steam some pot stickers. So we're gonna try it to make some soup. I think the eat one is the one we want. It's electric. So my first question of this is just like, it's like a jet boil, but it's electric. Use case for an electric jet boil. Well, if you're uh, nervous about fuel in your vehicle, that would be a case. In this case, it's just sheer laziness. All right. So we're going to put put this on the AC power. So, there we go. Bon appetit. Oh, lost one. Oh no. These are chicken and vegetable. Um, what is the brand? The brand. You, you might get one after I'm done cooking them. Mister. Oh, a bunch of vegetables in there too. I can show you. <laughs> That's what we got going on. Pop our lid on. We're on eat mode. 
push button. Yes, okay. EcoFlow says 479 watts. It's down 10%. So I'm gonna call it in also, it sounds like it's real. Wow, yeah, now that is, hi, wow. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's a rolling boil. <laughs> I think it's hot now. Yep, that'll do. I actually need to let it cool off for a minute. Wow. Oh yeah, those babies are toasty. <laughs> Steaming up the camera. <laughs> Steaming up my glasses. I might share if you move over. The folks over at Stoke probably never would have predicted their product being used for an impromptu crawfish boil. But yeah, that happened too. begin to pump. Now see there's a, a stirring device that you can get. I didn't get one so we've got a stainless steel straw. Oh there it goes. It took about 30 seconds to a minute and it started escalating. It's taken between 76 and 86 watts. And there's a slight sizzle. We're escalating. Now we're at like one 62 to 180. Down a percent. Now we're at two, between 270 and 230, 280. So it's like steady increase. And we are three minutes in. Oh, popping. We're popping. serving. I don't know how many kernels we have left. Oh, we're still popping. Huh? Yeah, that's popcorn, all right. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that actually did a good job. There aren't many uh, leftovers in there. Wow. All right. That's pretty good serving. 